okay, let me make a video while I'm typing it now. Uh, a live video. Okay, I'm gonna title this Mass Die Off Incoming. It has to do with the, uh, the cure <laughs> and the disease. Uh, it's inspired by these comments are. Inspired by some posts I've read. Well, I watched some tweets. So it's this. And maybe I think I read a little bit of this. In this post. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, let me make some statements. History happens in cycles. Uh, I don't think we are the first version of humanity. I think there have been human civilizations in the past uh, before and maybe in the bible this was recorded as the flood if you look at the Lacerta files we are apparently the seventh version of humanity so when we take a, a wider historical picture the idea of uh, a mass death of population, let's say billions of people. When you take a wide historical uh, view, it doesn't seem as horrible, criminal, uh, tragic if you take a, a longer view of history. If you look at it in isolation, it seems like the most horrible thing that can happen that uh, potentially through uh, disinformation, trust in government, complacency, um, foolishness, uh, and perhaps uh, intentional engineering of scenarios um, they all came together and it created a situation where most of the population on this planet might succumb to various forms of illnesses that would not have happened had these had the cure not been implemented or maybe you know this is a long-term project that that was engineered 70 years ago maybe <laughs> so this is just a, a series of events culminating in the this event or series so i guess what may happen in the next few years uh you know, it may have its origins in uh, not just in in the event, not the, the 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 origins of the ending that may happen very quickly may have its source much further in the past, and it may have been engineered that way like someone might have thought about the scenario where okay they were projecting 5 10 20 50 years into the future and and, and said okay how how do we set things up so people are conditioned to trust their government 
and we put people in positions of power who will do what we want them to do. It's like it's like setting up the pieces in a chessboard, right? Engineering it for over over maybe decades, you know. So the putting people with the right psycho psychological profile. You know, it, you don't have to overtly tell them to do something wrong. You can just suggest, put people in like uh, positions where they are going to likely to do something that you want them to do. So that's how diabolical it is. <laughs> you know, it's not just as simple as someone ordering someone to, you know, do a horrible act. Let's see, that's that you can, human beings won't, will not overtly commit this. Uh, if you tell them to do something horrible, they will, no, they won't do it. But if you engineer a situation that takes years and decades, and then you know, you can make something happen without overtly uh, telling people to do it, you know? So this mass die-off, <laughs> uh, which may happen in the future. Well, let's think about it. I mean, if this is something that's being orchestrated by, let's say, another, let's say, a... Uh, a non-human intelligence and okay let's say they were our gods or our creators then i guess you know what can you do you can't really do anything about it i mean they're they created us and i guess they can destroy us but if it was done by other human beings then i feel more angry because okay these are just human beings and they're like uh, maybe the reason for this, if you think about the one world government and how these people want the population reduced from 8 billion to 500 million people so they're easier to control, if these are the people who orchestrated this possible event, a series of events or this event which may happen in the next few years, uh, if, 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 if this was orchestrated by this cabal let's say, who's in Antarctica and who got the Nazis and all of that, if they, if they are the ones who are orchestrating this, then I'm more angry. I am much more angry because how could we let these people do this? You know, out of greed, uh, if you think of them like some kind of a mafia, mob-type people who, who are controlling the world, I feel more angry at that, you know? I mean, if the if the gods, aliens are doing it, okay, fine, that's different. You know, that's a different thing. But if it's other humans doing it, I'm much more angry. Um, well, what can you do? You know, I mean, maybe they played us. They played the planet. They played. They used our trust in government. They used even politicians who didn't know any better. We're, we're all, let's say these these few people in high positions of power, you know, the corporations or whatever. Well, it could be the Nazis. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's just say they played us. Let's just say they enacted this huge project and in the future, next few years, you're going to see a lot of this die off happening all right through various means you know diseases and death and things like that um let's say they played the whole planet let's say they they duped us they fooled us uh into ta into taking this cure well, what do we do um hopefully we learn from it <laughs> What can you do? I mean, if if, if, if that is, there's no way to stop it, and, and I guess I guess a lot of people are gonna die, and hopefully we learn from it. And um, I hope that this is remembered. I hope the history is remembered. I hope these people don't hide this event. You know, what if what what have we told about World War Two, World War One? 
Have you been told the actual history of that event? You know, have you been told the truth? You know, the victors write the history. What if this mass die-off happens and then the few that remain, they, they are, you know, they, they get control of, they engineer a situation where they get control of the new society and they, and they, and they write the history books in such a way that people don't even remember about the mass die-off, that, that it's framed or, uh, uh, you know, spun in such a way that the perpetrators of the crime are hidden, hidden from history. And uh, it's just seen as some kind of a plague. What if the Black Plague was an intentional event? In history, we just told, oh, it's just something caused by these rats and things like that. What if that was actually something that was orchestrated by either a non-human intelligence or some other, uh, it was a conscious thing, not a natural thing, but a conscious thing. What if that's what happened in history? Hmm? What if our history isn't actually true? So what if, you know, <laughs> I mean, if there is a non-human intelligence or if there is this cabal in Antarctica or, or whatever, moon, whoever, you know, what if they're doing this? What if they're orchestrating historical events, you know, causing world wars, causing plagues, famines? That these aren't just natural, quote, processes, but are, these are intentionally engineered by intelligent entities, be they humans or non-humans. Like I said, I mean, no, I mean, maybe there's a reason why the, you know, like I said, the Lacerda files, the Elohim fought among themselves because they didn't understand the re some of them didn't agree that humans should be made. Maybe this is what happened. Maybe some of the, uh, those Elohim saw, saw the way humans were being used, manipulated, controlled. How we have been created and then we have been killed and maybe they thought that was immoral. And they fought among themselves because it was immoral to create humanity and, and, and subject them to, to this kind of abuse creating wars, creating diseases. What if these Elohim are here and they're doing this? Uh, you know, in that case, I don't think you should. they should create humanity. <laughs> they should, what if this whole planet is one big sick biological experiment where these, these interdimensional entities, these angels or these, these gods, what if this is their playground and their you know, they just like like it says in one of those uh, documents I read. They we are part of the environment. They see us as just like all the other animals, and except we were made in their image. So maybe we have something like this kind of reason that maybe they have, um, and we can think and have more moral intuition and judgments, and you know. <laughs> You know, this is like, what if this, you know, if it's done by these uh, non-human intelligence, yeah, it's more immoral. Stop doing it. Stop creating humanity and, and doing this to us. Um, or leave us alone. Stop messing with our societies. If it's done by other humans, then, you know, we really got played. We were fooled by, uh, by these I don't know, Nazis or this cabal or whatever. They want to create their utopia on it. Whatever. I mean, it's not, it's impossible because you're always going to have conflict. There's, there can be no utopia because humans are always going to have conflict with one another. <sighs> it just seems very... Uh, it's possible we might be having some kind of a huge disaster coming to us in the future. <laughs>